So we're looking at this problem, and what we see is we see a couple operations, right? We see the dot product, and we see a scalar. So there's just a couple things I want to go through then with you as far as how we're going to apply each one. So when you see the dot product, you should know that the dot product represents u dot v is going to equal u1 times v1 plus u2 times v2. Right? That's the dot product. Um, then I say a scalar. How do we do a scalar times a vector? Well, if I have a scalar d, or we'll call it, yeah, we'll call it, yeah, let's do z, c times v1 comma v2, then remember that scalar gets multiplied to both of our terms. So it now becomes c v1 comma c v2. Right? So you multiply your scalar times both vectors. And I wrote it in component form, ladies and gentlemen, but it doesn't matter if my vector um, is, uh, if I have c times v, it doesn't matter if it's a linear combination or if it's in component form. Okay? It doesn't matter how I want to write my vector. I know here I wrote it in component form. So if I do c times v, you just multiply your c times both of your unit vectors. Um, so first thing is I have 4 times v. right? So let's figure out what 4 times v is. Let's do this multiplication first, and then let's go ahead and do the dot product. So 4 times v. So therefore, I'll just write in 4v is going to equal 4 times 3i plus 4 times 5j. Does everybody make sense of that? Just whenever your scalar times your vector, you multiply it to both of them. Therefore, we have 12i plus 20j. Not yet. This is what 4v equals. Now I'm going to do the dot product with u dot product 4v. So therefore, to do the dot product, I'm going to do u1 u1, which is 4, times v1. Well, we're not using v1 here. We're using 4v1, right? So that ends up being 12. And then plus, so u dot 4v. Then we're doing u2, which is negative 2, times 4v2, which is 20. So therefore, we have 4 times 12, which equals 36, and plus negative 2 times uh, 20 is going to be negative 4, or negative 40, I'm sorry. So therefore, you get negative 4. Question, problems, we're good for this. Good. Yeah, that's right. I don't know. I've been doing many problems. Yeah, so the answer is final answer is 8. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. OK? All right. Whew. All right. Um, any last questions?